the huge areas of the world that have never been looked at by archaeology at all. Or if looked at by archaeology, looked at only minimally. Of course, the most important are the flooded continental shelves. And that's why Santa and I spent seven years of our lives uh, scuba diving all around the world. Nestled at the westernmost edge of the Saurashtra Peninsula in what is now the state of Gujarat, India, the ancient city of Dwarka offers a narrative that is as rich in spirituality and mythology as it is in historical urban development. The calculation is that 27 million square kilometers that was above water during the Ice Age is underwater now. The city's strategic positioning near the confluence of the Gomati River and the Arabian Sea played a pivotal role not just in safeguarding it from potential invaders, but also in bolstering maritime trade and fostering connections with other parts of the ancient world. This geographical advantage, coupled with the city being enveloped by water on all sides, either as a peninsula or a series of islands, crafted a natural fortress that was a challenge for any adversary to overcome. Most of human civilization has been organized around water, right? And as the water levels change, some of those ancient cities could be completely covered. We did a lot of diving in southern India, so it was, it was great for her to be able to talk in their own language to Tamil fishermen and Tamil divers and see if they'd seen any weird stuff underwater, which they certainly had. Moreover, the Gomati River's proximity not only enhanced the city's scenic beauty, but also served as a crucial lifeline for its residents. Dwarka's urban landscape, as depicted in ancient texts, was nothing short of architectural grandeur. The city boasted of meticulously planned streets, a state-of-the-art drainage system, and formidable fortifications, all of which were divided into well-defined sectors for residential, commercial, and administrative purposes. We know that it's been underwater for about six or 7,000 years, but the question is, how long before that was it made? How long did it stand there above water? This level of urban planning and civil engineering sophistication showcases an advanced understanding of city management and infrastructure development, making Dwarka a marvel in ancient urban planning. The city's defensive structures, including a series of gates and fortifications, underscored the thoughtful defensive strategy employed in its construction. These were not merely architectural feats, but were strategically designed to regulate access and provide unwavering protection against invasions. Such architectural and strategic prowess points to a high degree of sophistication and indicates that Dwarka was a city that blended beauty with brains, making it a formidable entity in the ancient world. You're coming across statues underwater, you're coming across columns underwater. It's just magical in di diving, diving on an underwater city.